Welcome to this Excel Quickie. Here I'm going to show you how to split text based off of a new line, an in cell enter, or a carriage return. I hope I'm saying that right. So here we have the name of someone on one line within a cell, and on the next line, but within the same cell, where they're from. And we're going to split that using text to columns. It's actually pretty simple. Before I show you how to do it, let me just clarify what it is. So I've got a cell right here, and I can type some text. If I want to put text on a new line within the same cell, I just hit Alt Enter, and it goes to the next line within the same cell. This happens a lot of times with locations or addresses when you import them. So all you have to do, select the data, go to data, text to columns, make sure we select delimited, then hit next. And on here, you want to go down to other. So check other, make sure that everything else is unchecked. Go over here and you want to hit control J. So I've actually already done that. So in the preview window, it looks good, but let's say, show you what it would be like by default with tab and then go down here to Other, uncheck Tab, go in here and hit Control J. Then it's going to split it by the new line. Go to Next, do whatever you want to do for these options. Let's change the destination from A1 to B1 and hit Finish. And that's it. So we can see the name and where they're from. That's all you have to do. Text two columns. I'm going to show you real quick one more time. Text two columns, delimited, and other. Click in here and hit Control J. If you've already done Control J once and you do it again, you might hear a little noise in the background of Excel, but it doesn't mean that anything is wrong. It just means you've already done that and everything is good to go. So hit Finish and it'll split the data for you. And before we go, one very important note, once you've done this using text to columns, let's say we want to go over here and separate by space. If you go back to text to columns, delimited and next, we can go ahead and click space and it'll separate by that. But if we ever want to go back to other to input something else as a delimiter and we go down here and try and type it in, it's not going to work and you're going to hear a kind of error noise. Well, the reason for that is because the carriage return, the enter, the alt plus enter is already here. We just can't see it. So you click in here, click the delete key, and then you can go ahead and input whatever you want here. So if you try to input something here and you hear that sort of weird noise that Excel makes, it's very annoying, <laughs> it tells you something's wrong usually, then just hit the delete key, backspace key, that'll make sure that there's nothing else in there, and then you can start fresh and type whatever you want in here. And that's all for this Excel quickie.